Hi, well, I wanted to do a review for you for the U.S. Art Supplies Super Markers. Um, these markers here did not come, obviously, in this uh, container here. I took them out of the original container so that I could easily pull them in and out of this nice crock to have in my art studio, and it works for me. Um, all of the colors, there's there's a hundred colors in the set and they all fit nicely in these two containers. I kept all the bright and pastel colors in this large bean crock and the neutral colors I just separated out and put in um, this other little jar because they wouldn't all fit in here. But that's fine for me. So... Uh, I, I want to just show you how how well these these markers work. First off, I want to point out to you what I really like about these markers are that they're they're marked on either end. Here, one side is a bullet point bullet point, and the other side is um, a chisel point. So I'm going to show you both sides and how well they uh, they color. You get lots and lots of color with this, with these markers. And that's the chisel point. You can either make it fat or thin, depending on how you hold the marker. The other side is the bullet point. And it just writes really nice. So some of the features on these there's, as I mentioned before, there's a hundred colors in vibrant and bold colors. There's also pastel colors in here, such as this and some of the other like yellows and, and flesh tones. And then there's a good selection of neutral colors in browns and olive greens, um, gray, different shades of gray, and dark brown, sepia, and black. Um, the, the chisel point, I'm going to move it over here. The chisel point is, uh, measures 4.7 millimeters, and the bullet point is 4.1 millimeters. The pins are water-based, they're non-toxic and acid-free, and they're great for students, children, budding artists, and even adults. Um, I wanted to show you what I did uh, in my art journal. I did all of this, and this is on watercolor paper now. Uh, and I just made like a crazy background and then I'll do some art journaling on here. But I wanted to show you how this is the back side, no bleed through. Now this is watercolor paper, um, but you know, it's, it's great for this type of thing. And I'm gonna show you this sketchbook here, the other side, there is, you, you know, it's not bleeding through, but definitely shadowing. So um, this is just a regular sketch paper. So it's fairly, you know, only 60 pound paper. So it's fairly thin, but uh, perfect for adult coloring books, art journaling, scrapbook, booking crafts, coloring, doodling. Um, I don't know about the light fastness on these, so it may not be uh, best um, to use these for professional artwork that you would hang, but they're, they're great for the other things that I just previously mentioned. 
I like the fact that the caps fit really nicely on these. I'm trying to do this one-handed here. But they snap, they snap on very tightly, as you can hear. And uh, the icons on, on either end to let you know what, what end you're using. There's a terrific color selection. The coloring is nice and smooth. I would give this uh, two thumbs up. Um, great set for uh, students and adults alike. So thank you, U.S. Art Supply, for sending me the, these, this set to test out. And uh, I hope you check them out.